cartoons for kids. Trust me, it's not hard. Actually, it's fun. A lot of fun. Whether you just want to make it as a side hustle, whether you just want to make good on YouTube, whether you just want to go with affiliate marketing, these cartoons are really, really good. Now, you gotta know one thing. A lot of people are parents, right? And those are the people that are gonna put these on play. So, what does this mean? Well, it means that the story, like the idea in the story, is gonna be the most important part. And this is what I use when I just ask ChatGPT for good topics about cartoon videos. You know how this goes. People already wanna get their children to learn something. And you can see that ChatGPT is gonna provide something like that. So learning colors and shapes, alphabet adventures. Usually it's always about animals. You can't go wrong with animals, trust me. And then there's like some friendship and social skills. There's like space adventures, fairy tale remix, a lot of things, right? So knowing all of this, this is my prompt. Feel free to copy it. So write a short kid's story about friendship, characters are animals, story is around 200 words. And of course, ChatGPT is gonna write something. That is the first step, not too hard, right? Once we have this story, first step after that is to get the voiceover. Now, you can get a lot of these for free online, but what I usually use is 11 laps, and I like that it is natural. Honestly, I didn't find like something that is more natural than 11 laps is. So what do you have to do? Well, you got to separate the characters. We've got Oliver the owl and Benny the bunny. So two animals, bunny and owl. That means we're going to have two voices. Now I've got to tell you that you can make these voices yourself. If you got a friend, if you can imitate voices and you just want to have fun with it, it's the perfect way to do this. But of course, you can use AI tools as well and 11 Labs is going to provide. And now you just have to voice these things that are told by these characters. Have those voiceovers on your computer and we go to the next step. The next step is, of course, generating the images. But firstly, we need the prompts for it. I mean, you can do it yourself, but you don't have to. This is what I do with ChatGPT. I ask it to give me prompts for each scene in this story to generate some images. So as you can see, it's going to give you everything that you need. So as you can see, they're in the forest. Describe a mystical enchanted forest, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to use Leonardo, of course, which is free. You don't have to pay for it. And you have these good models. But for this, I don't use absolute reality i use dream shaper which is really good now i will just paste that prompt and of course i'm going to generate two by two you've got these tokens but they regenerate you don't have to pay for them now the mistake that i did is that i didn't went and put like this 16 by 9 because we need 16 by 9 because that's going to be on youtube you know that's why I have to do this over again, even though the image is really good, this enchanted forest we're talking about. But of course, you're going to get the similar result if you get like 16.9, as you can see, really good. This one, I really like. What do you have to do with this one? Well, just download the image to your computer. Now is the time for some fun. Open up canva.com, type in YouTube, video, whatever you can do. You got a lot of these templates, but we're not gonna use templates, create a blank YouTube video. 16 by nine it is. Now go over to the elements, and this is where you will find the characters. But firstly, upload that enchanted forest. Click on upload files. Of course, it's gonna be uploaded in a second, and then just move this like here. All right, now you can drag this around, for example, to fit the whole screen. We need this forest to be like that. And now we have to add the characters to this canvas. How to do that? Well, we know that we need an owl and a bunny. So what do you have to do? Type in bunny, and then you will go over to these graphics. There's a lot of bunnies. I mean, these are just cute, and you can have a lot of fun creating these. And the super good thing about this one is that you don't have to make them realistic because it's for kids. Kids like cartoons and animated things and all of that. So you can just have a lot of fun. Just go and search through these, you know, find something that it's going to suit this scene in the forest, right? This is what you gotta do. For example, let's just take this one. I like this one. So this is Benny the Bunny. This is my Benny the Bunny, and I like him a lot, and I'm just gonna place him here. Now you can choose to get this like really, really like natural. For example, like this, we're gonna use speech bubbles. So just have a look at him. He's just awesome on this background in this forest. I really like this one. Let's go to the owl. Now just type in owl, click the enter key, and there's gonna be a lot of owls, of course. Just make sure it is somewhat similar to the character you already chose. Have a look at this. This one is even like changing the positions so you can just put this one now he is way bigger than we need him to be but let's just do it like this let's say 
I don't like that he's like here. I want to put him on a tree somewhere or something like that. But what I usually like to do, I like to play with this so he's like this, you know? You can just do a lot of things. But let's just try with another owl. For example, we can just go with this one that is flying because we don't have many trees. Let's just try with this one. I'll delete this one. And now we just have to animate these. All right, so how do you animate these? Now this owl is too big. So let's just leave it like this. If you click on the bunny here and you go over to magic switch, if you click on this bunny here and then go to click on animate, what do you have to do? You just have to create an animation. So for example, as you can see, this bunny can now just like hop, hop, hop until he gets here to drink some water. All right. And then you can see how he is going from here to here. All right. So if you play this animation, you can see he is going down there. And of course, we're going to do the same thing for this owl. I'm going to click on create animation. And then, for example, I'm going to put her to just fly right here. And then this is the animation. So she's just going there and she is going there. And now we're going to put some speech bubbles. So elements go over to speech bubbles, just type in speech bubble, and then add these to each one of these. And then of course, you can just make this. Now this will work just instead of captions, right? Instead of us writing the captions, we're going to put these speech bubbles. So this bunny has something to say, you can just go on text, just add a subheading type, for example, hello, let's just go like that. And then we just place this inside of this. So this is essentially how you create the cartoon for kids. Now, of course, it requires a lot of work. It requires a lot of effort in order to move all these pictures in order to you just have to duplicate these pictures and create something that has structure. But of course, you've got the entire story. You just have to play with it. You don't have to like think of something. You just have to go block by block, read the story and just put the voiceover at the end of it. In order to put the voiceover and video combined, you can use CapCut online. Once you finish this with Canva.com, you can just share this. Click on the download button and of course it's going to be MP4 video. Click on the download, import all of that into CapCut online and then just put the voiceover as well. Now you can of course choose to go with the captions. You don't have to choose like the speech bubbles. Be creative, use whatever you want. I mean everything is possible because it's a cartoon and kids are going to love it and parents are going to love it. You just have to be creative, you know, just I don't know, play with Canva. It's really fun. I just have a lot of fun while doing this right now. And when you do something that you like that is really fun, this is not going to be a problem at all. Of course, you can just input some affiliate marketing because, for example, on Digistore24, there's like family and kids section. And you can, of course, sell a lot of these things to parents because, as I've told you, the parents are going to look at these videos and the ads before it and the links in the description. So, for example, a lot of parents would like for their kids to code like unlock the world of programming for each one of those sales, you will net $17. And there's a lot of these, you know, there's a lot of these, just be creative, use chat GPT to generate the stories, and then just invest some time in order to create these animations, you can do everything with Canva. And it's super fun. So I wish you good luck. And I'll catch you.